Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today we're going to be doing the tier list for Valorant Champions. Uh, so just like you know, Valorant Champions that's going to be on on uh, 1st of December to the 12th of December. Uh, so obviously a bit, you know, it will be obviously in December. So and we only have, I guess uh, I'm going to have a look, six days left. Or well, five days. I, I can't math. Five days left. Um, or six days. Basically six days left until um, champions start, and I thought this would be a good idea to actually do this right now, so I don't have to deal with it and all that other stuff. So I'll be doing the tier list, then I'll maybe, and then I'll also, uh, then tomorrow, I'll be um, doing the pickems, and then for the next day, for the next couple of days coming up, I'll be streaming on Twitch, uh, and I will be streaming uh, basically my reactions to some matches. Uh, I was mainly Fracture, so I have a total of three Fracture maps I'm doing, and I'm also doing uh, the Fnatic versus, what is it, Fnatic versus Team Liquid, and uh, Gambit versus Ascend. So there are a total of five matches that we'll be going for, uh, I'll be also doing two streams, one of them will be, on, will be full on Fracture, and the other one will be Ascend uh, and Gambit, and also Team Liquid and Fnatic. That might be actually three. Just to uh, split Gambit, Ascend, and the Liquid and Fnatic match. Um, but the Fracture one will be, all, all of them will be the same. So just as little, you know, little stuff there. So let's just get right into it. So, we'll first off with Ascend. And Ascend with their roster, still with the same. Bone Cold, CNED, Kellis, Star uh, Sarzo, and Zeke, and BS as the coach. Uh, now, I'm also, I'm going to be try basing off the Red Bull home grounds for EU. And um, the land tournaments as well. So Masters and Masters 3, Masters 2. Uh, Ascend did a pretty decent job in Red Bull Home Grounds. They actually came second place. And uh, for the Sage Stream Masters Berlin, they came fifth through eighth. So it wasn't too bad, but um, I mean, like, I mean, for the Masters 3, it wasn't too bad. Um, but still not really the best. Um, but, I mean, they got, I mean, look, they got, they're the, they were the second highest European team. Well, sorry, third highest European team. So, I guess it, it, it was meh. But in Ripple Homegrounds 2, they did, um, they did beat out Team Liquid, but that was online. Uh, so obviously they kind of struggled there. And also, and also with, like, the, the teams, obviously in this, in this, um, to win, like, Gambit, Sentinels, Envy, um, even like t uh, even like Cloud9, Liquid. It's going to be very hard for Ascend to actually do uh, really, really well. But their groups is, I mean, it's relatively easy. As uh, Ascend themselves, Team NB, X10 Crit, and Key Stars. That's for Group A. I shall say, this may be a little bit controversial. Probably Group A. I'll, I'll put them, I'll put them maybe in A tier uh, for Ascend. However... I, there might be a chance I may put them slightly up to S tier. But for now, I'm going to put them in A tier. Next up, it is Cloud9 Blue. Cloud9 Blue was the NALCQ team. Obviously, we have never seen them in land, so this is going to be the first time. Um, and as I think Bandy also said that um, they, were, uh, they were thrashing everyone in scrims or something. I'm do I don't really want to get into the scrim box right now. Um, but currently with the roster, Mitch, Leaf, Z um, Zeta, Zephyr, Vanity, and then Ultima and James IRL as the coaches. Pretty good. It's a very, very good roster. Uh, I feel like Zeta, he's kind of underrated. Vanity is a really good IGL. Leaf is obviously crazy. Zeppa is very, very good. And Mitch is just there, I'll be honest. I'm sorry, but Mitch is just there. But still, Clan 9 has a chance. Group D... I uh, have Vision Strikers, Fnatic, Full Sense, and themselves Cloud9. It's going to be a bit tough, um, obviously in the top three. It really depends also if Full Sense comes out and performs this exceptionally well. We may have an upset in Group D, but as of right now, Cloud9 may be a bit iffy. I'm going to put them maybe... I, I, don't, I just don't know, like... They could be S, they could be A. It's one of these ones. Um, obviously, people are going to be arguing at me at the comments, being like, saying, like, why did you put this team in S and A or whatever? 
It's just my opinion, guys. You can make your own, and obviously you can post them up onto YouTube as well. For now, this probably won't make sense. For now, I'm gonna put an S tier. Obviously, I don't really. I mean, Cloud9 is obviously a great team, but I mean, this is also me try not to be biased because I do. I I don't want to be biased here. I really don't. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna put Cloud9 up in S tier. But they're definitely a low S tier. They're def like. If between like all the tier, all the teams like which are going to be in S tier, I think they are the lowest. Um, they're probably maybe very close, maybe be in in A tier. Because right now, obviously, we have never seen them on land, so we don't really know how they're going to perform. Because land and online are very, very, very different. And it also depends if they want if they're, if they're going to do what they did with NA and just have the servers on like online, but they're actually on land. If that makes sense. So yeah. Uh, so that's Cloud9. I may bump them down to A tier at some point in the video. Crazy Raccoon is next. They are the... I think they are they are the sole Japanese team. They have Barzi, Aid, um, Adde. I, I, I think it's Adde. Fisker, Munchkin, Neff. They also have Medusa as the substitute. And, and Minty won't be participating. Twinkle and Mun are the coaches. And, um... They are the... I think the, they are uh, three... I think... I, yeah, so they're currently the lead of three teams who have been in every single LAN tournament. Masters 2 in Reykjavik, uh, they came 9th through 10th after the game beaten by V1 and X10 Esports. And in Masters 3 at Berlin, uh, they came 9th through 12th, uh, where they didn't advance in uh, in their group in Group C, but they did beat out Havan Liberty. Uh, so, wasn't that bad, I guess. But... Japan is one of the weakest uh, regions of Valorant, so I, ha I do have to put the problem maybe D, maybe even C tier. I just I just don't have a lot of hope for them, I'll be honest. Um, yeah, just like I said, they are the sole Japanese team, but I mean they're mainly like Koreans, like in like in that roster. So yeah. Next up, Team Envy, and I mean I'll put them in S tier straight away. I don't even care what anyone says. FNS, yay, Victor Crash is marved and then Shet as the coach. I think we, um, Shet as the coach is a great addition in my opinion. Um, obviously, the last time we saw them on land was in um, Masters 3. And they came second place, which is a fantastic result. They uh, they were the best NA team. They beat it our Sentinels, they beat our 100 Thieves. They obviously advanced in their groups in Group B. Uh, I mean, they did have the easiest one though, but still, a fantastic job by Team Envy. Uh, showing up against um, the uh, against the NA teams and doing a fantastic job, and I think they're going to continue their momentum. Chamber won't be used in this tournament, so I think uh, Team Envy has a maybe a possible chance of actually winning this whole thing. Next up is Fnatic. Uh, now we haven't seen a lot from Fnatic. Oh, it was the last time we saw uh, we saw from that was the Red Bull Home Ground too, which I'll be talking about soon. But Boaster, Doma, Mystic, Durka, Magnum as the players, and Mini and Anders as the coaches. I don't really know. Uh, so we'll just ha we'll, we'll first have a look at the, uh, the Red Bull Home Grounds number two. I have in my second monitor, which is why you can't really see it. But they came second place in the group of uh, Group C, uh, beating FPX and Anubis. But they did lose to Giants Gaming. <clears throat> uh, and then in the playoffs, they instantly got beaten by Team Liquid. Uh, so I feel like Fnatic is the weakest European team. Um, obviously, in Reykjavik, they came second place. But that was just, in my opinion, where they were in the top of their peak. They were doing a fantastic job. Um, obviously, this was, I mean, this was obviously when Breeze wasn't there and. Um, some of the agents also wasn't there actually coming. I, th I think, um, I mean, obviously, I don't think at the Asher was there. Um, Chamber wasn't there. Was Yoru there? I don't, I can't remember if Yoru was actually there in Reykjavik. I think he might have been, but still, not really, not really the best, um, obviously, uh, since Reykjavik. And they obviously they, they failed to qualify for Masters 3. And once again, they got beaten out by Team Liquid. And guess what? Liquid is in this. 
So in my opinion, they are maybe the weakest European team. Uh, I don't know, so I'm, I'm pull, maybe put them in A tier. I feel like like they may be a dark horse. Maybe I'll put them down, maybe to B tier, but I'm going to put them in A tier for now. Next up is Full Sense. Full Sense is the APEC LCQ team. Obviously, we, we have never seen them in um, online. Uh, of Chalala, John Olsen, Lamy Snacks, PTC, and Superbus, and then uh, Tom Grag as the coach. <clears throat> when I watched them in L and LCQ, they did a very, very, very good job. There was a beat there by Northception, which I'll be honest, they looked incredibly strong. And uh, they came back from uh, from that in the low brackets finals and narrowly beating them out in the grand finals 3-2. to two. It was very, very, it was a great grand finals. And um, <clears throat> yeah, John Olsen obviously popped the hell off in my opinion. He did a, he, he did a really, really, really good job in, um, during the tournament. And um I don't know really how they're gonna go. <clears throat> like, I I just don't know. I'll maybe put it maybe I'll say maybe, eh uh, maybe D tier I'm guessing maybe D tier a bit better than Crazy Raccoon in my opinion, maybe even C tier. But for now I'm gonna put him in D tier. Furia, this is um their <clears throat> LCQ. Uh, so this is South America's LCQ. Um, <clears throat> team. I'm currently dying right now with the road, which is fantastic. Uh, they're also in uh, Group B, which consists of Sentinels, Crew, Sports Liquid, and Furia. I forgot to mention about Crazy Raccoon, they're in Group C, Gambit, Viking, Secret, and, and themselves Crazy Raccoon. But for Furia, <clears throat> they're probably maybe in the, in the toughest... Um, may maybe in, in the toughest group? Um... Maybe also, also with now you can also maybe also group D is the toughest as well, um, but <clears throat> group E group and group D they're very up in the air. Well, so they're like yeah they're basically up in the air. Group A and group C they're kind of we already know who's going to probably advance. Well, probably not group C, but group A definitely we know, <clears throat> unless we get a, a surprise. But obviously Furia, I mean they did come from Brazil. Um, Brazil is not really, is like, they are a very, very, very good region, obviously. Um, but I just don't know, because they, they haven't, they haven't really showed up on land. They've only showed up, like, obviously the last time they actually showed up really well was probably maybe Reykjavik. <clears throat> yeah, the last time they showed up was in Reykjavik, because um, in the, in Berlin, the highest one was the 9th through 12th on Reykjavik. The highest was 6th place, 5th through 6th, and that was from Team Vikings who's in this. So I do think Furia may be the weakest one, I'm going to put it maybe in C tier. Next up, Gambit, I mean, no question, S tier. They were legit the winners of Masters Berlin, what else can I really say? Chronicle, Defo, Shados, Nat, and Redgar, and ending as the coach. <clears throat> so, not that surprising there, S tier for, Ber uh, for Gambit. Next up is Key Stars. Key Stars is the second Brazilian team out of three. You have Heath, J. Hal, Vixen, Mersey, and Mazawa, who um, is from is um, from Game Landers. I probably mispronounced his name, but there he is right here. If you if you're wondering who the hell I'm talking about, he was he's basically one of the best um, one of the best Bra um, Bra Brazilian players back in 2020s, so back in last year. I don't know who's the best right now. I had that. I to be honest, I have not been keeping up with the Brazilian scene, and I should probably to be doing that. Um, but <clears throat> Keystars did pretty average in in Berlin. I mean, they came ninth to twelfth. They came, basically came tenth place. They came third in the group of Group B. Uh, they beat uh, they beat it out uh, Zeta Division to not get eliminated straight away. But they did lose to Korea Sports in the decider match. But still a a pretty average performance, <clears throat> and I'll be honest. They're pr I mean, Keystars and Furia. I think they're probably C tier. That both of them are. That is in my opinion. Next up, Korea Sports, the second team out of three who have been who have who's in um, who competed in all three of um, land tournaments. Uh, the and the only Latin American team as well. Klaus, Mazano, Nags, um, Delzik, and Kesnet as the as the players. Then Alner and B Tony as the coaches. 
so they're uh, so they're also in the group B, um, the in the group B um, groups, <coughs> and uh, for Reykjavik they came uh, seventh to eighth after losing to Fnatic but beating now Sharks Esports but however losing to Team Liquid in the low bracket round two, and then for Berlin actually I'll just show right now in Berlin. They came second place in the group against team um, with Team Envy, beating now Zeta Division, losing to Team Envy, but being now Keith Stars to advance. But they did lose to G2 Esports in the playoffs. So obviously with that, it, also obviously with that in it, um, just I mean I don't really know what to really say about um, about Crew. I mean, they do. They may do really, really well. I mean, I did. I did say it in in my last video of this actually for Berlin for Master Street Berlin that if Crew gets a really a really decent group, they will they will probably advance to the playoffs. And look what happened. They did advance to the playoffs. <clears throat> so, I mean, it's, it's gonna be a very, very tough time for Crew if they do beat. Uh, I mean, if they beat a uh, Fury, that'll be really nice. But I mean, Sentinels and Liquid, they are a very, very, very scary team. So, I probably maybe put it maybe in C tier. Probably maybe between Keith Stars and Furia, if not maybe better. I'll just put it right there. Sentinels is next. Um, I mean Sentinels obviously the, this is the last NA team, um, for champions. They obviously have Shazam, Six, Zoms, Dapper, and Tens. But they all but they added Rockers as a coach, which is very, very interesting to me. Um, obviously they, this is the first time that, that they've actually had a coach. And I was, and everyone was very, very uh, most. I think Shazam mainly. There were uh, he was very vocal about actually having a coach for, who was formerly a player for Valorant because it's such a young, um, a young scene. Um, but it looks like they got one of Rockers, and this pro will probably maybe help Sentinels. So, um, obviously, Rockers can help our Sentinels in Berlin and everything. I'm I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I still think they're going to be an S tier, maybe not the best, uh, but I still think they are going to be an S tier. And definitely a contender for winning this whole thing. But in my opinion, my pick, of, of my pick, like the team I think is actually going to make it to, uh, to actually win this whole thing, is Team Liquid. I, to be honest, Team Liquid looks scary right now. They look, they look terrifyingly scary. Um, but that was obviously online. This is obviously LAN, and just like I said, LAN is very, very, very different. Um, I mean, yeah, what can I say about Team Liquid? They are amazing. They are just scary. Soulcast, Link, Scream, Yumpy, and and Nevera, and Sliggy as the coach. They are, they're looking terrifying, I'll be honest. I mean, in the Red Bull home grounds, they won that. Um, in Reykjavik, they kind of struggled. They came fourth place. And that we all thought they would probably make it to the grand finals, but they lost to Fnatic in the low bracket round four. But they did, they come, but they did come first in Red Bull in the Red Bull home ground, so I guess it's not the end of the world. And plus, they're also in Group B, which basically means that I mean it's probably gonna be Sentinels and Liquid making it in. Crew may sneak in. I don't really know, but I think Liquid definitely an S tier team. Next up is Team Secret. I think this is the only team that no one knows about, unless you actually, unless you watch a lot of APAC, um, uh, yeah, j just a lot of APAC matches, and you obviously know about Bren Esports, because the core is basically Bren Esports. It has uh, Jesse Vash, Dubstep, uh, Borkham, Spencer, and Wids, and Gibbo as the coach. We have never seen them on LAN. So, for now, I'm probably going to put it maybe in D tier. I don't know a lot about them, so... Obviously, I don't have a lot of a lot of information about them. I I mean, people can obviously say that they're probably they're they're probably actually mid pack team, and I will definitely believe that. But for now, we're gonna put them D tier. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll probably say they're probably better than Crazy Raccoon, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I'm God, I've, I, don't, I I I have no faith on Crazy Raccoon. <laughs> Next up is Team Vikings. This is the last Brazilian team. And they were possibly the best Brazilian team on LAN. They have Gatson, Saucy, uh, FRZ, or Frizz, I don't know, uh, Sidicast, and Sadhawk as the players, and they also got Bezka as the coach. Uh, so, it was the last time we've seen them on LAN, it was in Reykjavik. They, they did pretty good. They came 5th through 6th, obviously the lead the best Brazilian result. Uh, they beat at X10, they, but they lost to Sentinels and Team Liquid.
which is very, very, very difficult. But I do think there are a very solid B tier. That's just in my opinion. I'm probably giving them a lot of, you know, just a lot of flack and everything. I'm just, you know, just, yeah. <laughs> that's what I could really say. I'm probably, getting, I'm probably giving them a lot of praise, but that's just... I think I think Vikings is the bre it is the best Brazilian team that Brazil uh, that Brazil has currently gotten. Next up is Vision Strikers. Now Vision Strikers is the most interesting one because everyone thought they were probably going to be contenders of winning um, of winning Berlin, but I would just pull this up as you can see here. Obviously, they came first in their group of Group A. They beat out everyone in Paper Rex in Ascend. But in the playoffs, they lost to Gambit two to one. It was it was quite surprising, but at the same time, I wasn't that surprised because I mean Gambit, they looked very 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 good. Even though they did lose a hundred thieves in um, in Group C, they still looked very 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 good. So, I mean, yeah, I'm not that surprised about that, but still, everyone really thought that Vision Strikers was going to, I mean, was Possibly even going to make it to the semi-finals like Sentinels, um, but they kind of struggled. They kind of looked a little bit lost as well um, in the playoffs, and I saw I'm like a bit hesitant. I'm like, do I really put them maybe in an S? Do I put them in A? If so, it has to be like obviously maybe above Ascend and Fnatic, do, but 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 in S tier, do I put them in front of Cloud Nine? Do I just leave them at the bottom of S tier? I don't really know where to put Vin Strikers. Probably for now, I put Vin Strikers an S. Um, not the highest, because I feel like these four teams are definitely an S tier. I think I feel like a lot of people can agree on that. Cloud9 and Vin Strikers, they're like, you know, like, is your preference, all right? It's obviously my preference, so please don't get too pissy about about it in the comments. But this is just my pref. Uh, this is just this is just my own preference. I feel like. That these two teams may be contenders or over dark horses, just like Ascent. Ascent may be very sneaky up to S tier, but I'll be honest, they are a very very high A tier, maybe very but pretty close again up to S tier in my opinion. I think Fnatic is a solid A, Vikings is Vikings is definitely a solid B, and then everyone else is just solid and everything. Uh, but I'm probably maybe change some stuff before uh, we obviously go into. Um, Berlin for champions, and obviously the final one X10 esports, or obviously lately now is called X10 Crit. Uh, so they have uh, Crows, I'm guessing that's, that's what his first name is. Foxy, Scary, Sushi Boys, and Patty Fan, and then Obi and Zeus as the coaches. Last time we saw them, it was uh, it was in Reykjavik, and they came seventh to eighth. So just like Korea Sports. Uh, they lost to Team Vikings, but they won against Crazy Raccoon, but lost to Fnatic. And I'm going to say they're a pr maybe a very solid C tier. Maybe at the back end of C tier. Um, but, I mean, full sense may be a, maybe a bit better than X10. Uh, but that's just in my opinion, obviously. Obviously, everyone else has their own opinions about this. Um, so, that's, so this is just my my one right here. Obviously, people could be a little bit pissed off as at Ascend, as I put Ascend at A, but this is obviously just my opinion. Cloud9 may drop down to A tier. Vinstrikers may also drop down to A tier. I don't really know, because, I mean, Vinstrikers for one, last time they were in LAN, they were a bit struggling, um, especially in the playoffs. Cloud9, I've never seen them on LAN, but what well, I'm just guessing from scrim box and everything, maybe a very, maybe just above this DS tier line, maybe in the front of A tier. I don't really know. Uh, so I'll probably actually stick with this, maybe. Uh, I'll just stick with this. So I'll say in S tier, Team Liquid, Gambit, Sentinels, Envy, that's like a must. Vision Strikers, maybe, probably in S tier. Cloud9, Ascend, and Fnatic in A. And obviously Cloud9 could be in S tier, but I don't really know. I may be, be, I may be proven a very very wrong but for now I'll probably put him actually you know what fuck it I'm gonna put him in S tier so it'll be actually a center for like an A tier uh, Vikings B C Korea Sports Keed Stars Furia and X10 and then D full sense 
uh, Team Secret, and Crazy Raccoon. So that is my tier list. Obviously tomorrow um, I'll be doing my pickems, uh, so watch out for that video. So that's really about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me let me know in the comments who you think is going to be in each. I mean, one who you think is going to win and two. Do you agree with this? Do you hate it? Do you love it? What do you want? What what do you want to be changed? Obviously, I'm open for discussion. Just please don't harass me in the comments. Okay, this is legit my own opinion. So, anyways, that's it for me now. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Catch you guys all next time in the next one. Goodbye.